welcome you all my dear students now we are in the third lecture fourth module orifices and mouthpiece in the previous classes we discussed about uh, uh, derivation okay in the previous class we discussed about derivation of expression of an expression for discharge through orifice that we derived and even velocity theoretical velocity is equal to root 2 gh we discussed and q is equal to area into velocity this velocity you can write here this derivation is considered in the previous class and in the present class we will be defining coefficient of velocity coefficient of uh, contraction coefficient of discharge now why we need to study these coefficients very important first we will understand that one okay let us consider there is a tank here and there is a small orifice here means a small opening and here water level and water is coming here Actually, what happens? The expressions what we are getting, they are all theoretical expressions. We we determined that root 2 g h, you know, this one we determined theoretically, but we don't know actually what happens. Is there any losses or that we don't know? Just we are determining by equation. Therefore, this is called as theoretical. Means there will be some actual velocity which is differs this theoretical velocity. Either it might be smaller or bigger. That we will discuss later but we will be having a different value for actual velocity and different value for theoretical velocity right like that by using this discharge this velocity we are calculating discharge q is equal to a into v this again theoretical velocity then this discharge is also theoretical discharge means the discharge calculated by using formula and discharge calculated actually on ground will be different then how much different you know, that we need to understand and as I told you that the orifice means this is the area of the orifice. This is the area of the orifice. When water comes through orifice, then it will minimize its area and later it will spread. Then this area in last class we discussed, uh, in last class we discussed this section is called as vena contractor and at vena contractor area will be minimum means this area of orifice and area at vena contractor are different. Right? Therefore, we need to understand those. Therefore, there are some complications between theoretical and actual, theoretical and actual, and actual, uh, this one uh, diameter, uh, diameter or area of the orifice and vena contractor. Therefore, we have three different terms to understand them. That is coefficient of velocity, coefficient of contraction, and coefficient of discharge. Okay. The first one is coefficient of velocity. Coefficient of velocity is uh, we can denote it by CV and CV is defined as the ratio of you can write it in a statement. Coefficient of velocity is defined as the ratio of actual velocity of a jet of a liquid at vena contractor and theoretical velocity of the jet okay means in equation if i want to write then cv is defined as the ratio of the ratio of actual velocity actual velocity at vena contractor vena contractor to the to the theoretical velocity theoretical velocity okay means you can write it like uh, v actual divided by v theoretical is your cv then v theoretical you know therefore we can write v actual divided by root 2 g h this is your cv okay. usually cv varies from 0.9 to cv varies from 0 0.9 to 0 0.99 okay then if a data is not given then you can consider cv is equal to 0.98 for sharp crested orifice right this is all about coefficient of velocity the second one is coefficient of contraction as i told you that if this is a tank and there is a orifice here the orifice diameter area i will consider the orifice area i will consider it as a, a and the area of the vena contractor 
the when liquid comes here at a particular section it will minimize its area that area at when a contractor will call it as a ac contracted area right uh? then now i will define cc coefficient of contraction is defined as the ratio of area of the jet at when the contractor to the area of orifice okay now look at it cc is defined as the a ratio of area area of jet at when a contractor at when a contractor to the area of orifice okay this you can de define it like ac divided by a this is your cc the same way the cc varies from cc the range of cc is 0.61 2.69 if the data is not given you can consider cc is equal to 0.64 okay next coefficient of discharge the same thing if this is a tank there is a orifice and through which the water is coming you will collect the theoretical you will collect the practical discharge that you will call it as actual discharge and you know how to calculate theoretical discharge the comparing these two okay therefore the cd you can write cd is defined as the ratio of actual discharge from an orifice to the theoretical discharge from the same orifice okay that you can write it like actual discharge actual discharge to the to the theoretical discharge theoretical theoretical discharge okay actual discharge to the theoretical discharge you can write it like q actual to the q theoretical okay this cd value ranges from ranges from 0 0.61 sorry oh correct cd 0 0.61265 0.612, 0 0.65. If data is not given, 0.62 you can consider. One very interesting about CD is, look at here. The CD, what I define, CD is equal to Q actual divided by Q theoretical. Okay, we will modify this Q actual. We know already area into velocity is the discharge. Then this area and this velocity is the actual velocity. Where you will find actual velocity? Where there is a Vena contractor, there we will get actual velocity. Then divided by area into theoretical velocity. Then you can see this part and this part. Okay. Then AC by A, we called already defined it as a CC. And V actual by V theoretical, we called it as a CV. Therefore, CD, you can consider it like cc into cv right these are all coefficient of uh, uh, the, that hydraulic coefficients we defined them then how to find them practically in laboratory we will find it in next class thank you very much